Boris Johnson today promised parents the new teacher grading system for A-levels and GCSEs this summer will be fair and durable. The PM admitted it would have been better if students were able to take exams but that wasn't possible because the pandemic forced school closures. Daddy made the remarks after meeting Year 7 students during a visit to the Accrington Academy, in Lancashire, that he said, In an ideal world you would not have taken kids out of school because of the pandemic, we wouldn't have been forced and in an ideal world we'd be continuing with exams as you know the best place for kids is in the classroom, the best way to check on kids' progress is with normal but this is as good a compromise as we can come to. It will be fair, it will be durable and it's the right way forward. It comes with teams set for a record haul of GCSEs and A-levels this year with officials abandoning trying to control soaring grades. Normal summer exams have been ditched and teachers will instead decide what results students get, with the help of voluntary mini-subject tests. Marks will not be pegged to previous years, meaning grade inflation could run wild if teachers are generous with their assessed grades. But it comes as a government report reveals kids in every year have fallen hugely behind in maths and English during lockdown. Schools Minister Nick Gibb insisted this morning that the teacher assessment system was the only fair way to judge students and he confirmed pupils will receive their A-level results on August 10, with GCSE grades coming out two days later on August. There will be a very robust appeal process, with students who are unhappy also having the option to sit exam. Mr. Gibbs said, We do think exams are the fairest system and we were determined to keep exams. It came as Sir John Coles, a former Director General at the Department for Education, resigned from his post as Ofqual advisor after the government failed to make many exams mandatory for Sir John, who joined exam watchdog Ofqual in November last year. Last night warned that officials are risking a situation much worse than last year's hated out. He also reportedly said students faced a free fall will be inflated to a point that results are meaningless he also reportedly said students faced a free-for-all and grades will be inflated to a point that results are meaningless. normal summer exams have been ditched and teachers will instead decide what results students get with the help of voluntary mini subject test results day is being brought forward to the week of august 9th so kids have longer to appeal grades before university gcse students will receive their results two days later on august 12th the PM said this morning while on a visit, in an ideal world we'd be continuing with exams as you normally have them but it just wasn't possible this year and this was the best. He vowed, it will be fair it will be durable and it's the right way forward. Tory MP and chair of the select committee, Robert Halfen worried that it would create a Wild West grading system for, he told Times Radio this morning, I worry that there was going to be, in essence, a Wild West of an exam grading system because it's going to vary from school to school. There's very little standardization. It's just going to be based on what an individual child, he told Mr. Williamson it may increase grade inflation into the system and that could damage kids' life chances later. Did Mr. Williamson told the Commons today there was widespread support for the approach they were setting out which was fair and robust. He added, our priority is and has always been to make sure that every student has the best possible chance to show what they know and can do, enabling them to progress to the next stage of their education, training or after schools have been shut for many pupils for weeks. He stressed the end is very clearly in sight and rates have come down enough to get all kids back from March 8. They will only be graded on the work they have done, and not the teachers can choose a range of work including tests, coursework and mock exams to help decide and assessors will make sure the grades are fair and consistent across the board and any malpractice can be an appeals system will be in place if kids think they were wrong. He also outlined in the House of Commons how kids will get back to school, including, assessments descended into chaos last year with the A-level results of thousands of students downgraded due to a controversial algorithm used to standardize teachers' estimate following a public outcry. Exams regulator Ofqual announced a U-turn, allowing students to use their teachers' predictions, and Mr. Williamson confirmed algorithm plans have been put firmly in the bin, found to put trust in teachers as he said, I can confirm that no algorithm will be used for this process. Grades will be awarded on the basis of teachers' judgment. Schools must submit their grades by June 18th. Schools, college bosses and exam boards will carry out checks in a bid to make sure results.